so one of our greatest episodes was when Dave Mustaine's autobiography, Mustaine, came out. What a creative title. Well, it's Mustaine, M-U-H-S-T-A. No, it's not. Mustaine. Mustaine. <laughs> Damn, I should have thought of that one. <laughs> Two good that. suggestions. <laughs> Reprint. So uh, that was, I guess, a life memoir. And uh, covered a lot of stuff. It's pronounced me ma war me ma uh, This one is going to be just about the proses of Rust in Peace. Uh, an album, arguably their best album. Arguably, I will say. And that needs to be a book? Yeah, I guess. I know they do those 33 and a third books about different albums and different authors. You know what I'm talking about? They're like the smaller. There's like a whole, there's like maybe a hundred of them by now. Just yes, about iconic of course. albums. yes, yes. yes. I could understand doing that about it, but like I think a book what book? it is is those are like typically like a hundred pages, give or take. I believe they're thirty three. No, they're not. Thirty three and a third pages. No. no? Okay. I have uh, numerous. Uh yeah, I think it's something uh similar to that where uh it's um like a series about albums and they paid him to write one about Rust in Peace or something like that. Are there others that are already released? Do we know what other albums are in this series? But I'm just very much looking forward to it uh, because specifically oh, when the Mustaine uh, autobiography came out, we did readings from the book. Well, Darren specifically did readings in the Dave Mustaine voice. And you can look this clip up on YouTube and it's one of my favorite moments on the show. I initially wrote a book about how... Marty Friedman was to blame for Rush, uh, for Risk. It was about 970 pages. He's also to blame for Rush. He killed Neil Peart. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Sid. No one's supposed to know about that. <laughs> well, here, here's the write-up for the book. It's called Building the Perfect Beast. <clears throat> Building the Perfect That's Beast. That's what, uh, when Rob's parents had their baby book, oh, it was God. also titled that. So Shit. there's a lawsuit coming. Oh, so they wanted to raise <laughs> Rob? That yeah, one? mission accomplished. Oh, no. oh, the full title is Building the Perfect Beast, the creation of Megadeth's Rust in Peace. Oh, Written da- and composed entirely by Dave Mustaine. Yeah. And only by Dave Mustaine. <laughs> Bookbinding by Dave Mustaine. <laughs> <laughs> Kerning. Is there kerning in books? Kerning yeah. by yeah, Dave Mustaine. <laughs> <laughs> Published by the one and only and great Dave Mustaine. Book book jacket photography by Dave Mustaine. (laughs) Tree cutting and converting to paper (laughs) by Dave Mustaine. Yes. Blurbs by Dave Mustaine. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Uh, So the book is called Building the Perfect Peace, the Creation of Vegas Recipes by Dave Mustaine. Typos by Dave Ellison. (laughs) By Dave Mustaine with Joe Selvin. And Who? Joe Selvin. <laughs> Generic, like, yeah. ghostwriter guy. So it details Auditions the... for Joe Selvin by Dave Mustaine. <laughs> <laughs> the book details the making of Megadeth's iconic record, Rust in Peace, which was released in 1990, at an incredible time of flux and creativity in the rock world. Relayed by the lead vocalist, guitarist, and primary songwriter of Megadeth himself, Dave Mustaine. Meaning that this ghostwriter met Dave for coffee one time and then wrote a Relayed. Book. Yeah, you're yeah, right. It's just it. he did a long interview with him yeah. and then turned it into a book. Uh, the book covers the proses of hiring the band and supporting cast. What? And trying to handle the ensuing success. Hire, like, weren't all the members... In the band or was it? I guess uh, Marty might have, like, I guess that Chris P- Poland before uh, yeah. Marty, so that was a switch up. But, like, Nick, was Allison there a different? Was there. Allison was so there. So, part of the book is about handling the success, really? Uh, co- the book pro- covers the process of hiring the band and supporting cast, trying to handle the ensuing success. I think that just means drugs. I just, I feel like, uh, how big of a Megadeth fan do you have to be to be like, I want to read all about that album, but really, I want to know how Dave handled being so popular. <laughs> I need to know how he grappled with people realizing how great he was. Well, Sid, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> if you'll open up chapter 23. 
Chapter 23 through 45. It's all about me grappling with my fame. No, I was going to say, Sid, if you let me finish, open to chapter 23. That's the only one that does not discuss this topic. You can ignore that one. Oh, Dave. That's all about the types of lasagna I like. <laughs> None of which were made by Nick Menz's parents. No! Those jerks. It's terrible. She even Italian. How did we even get on the... He didn't mention lasagna, right? Well, well, no, it was just make... something he went there to eat and they he didn't have pasta. Italian food. No, he did mention no. Oh, he did. He may yeah. not have said lasagna. He said her Italian cooking was not authentic enough for him. Yeah, that's right. Like, no, like, okay, that's right. Pasta or something. He was very he did specific. say lasagna, though. I think he did say lasagna. I can't quite remember. I believe it was bolognese. <laughs> bolognese. No, I say it right. What are you, some kind of <laughs> fake Italian? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You probably don't even say provolone correctly. <laughs> like my good friend Ken. I've been calling you provolone this whole time. Silly person. Rust and provolone. You don't get a chapter in my book. <laughs> Who's uh, the publisher on this masterpiece? Dave Mustaine. Yeah, duh. Dave Mustaine Hatchet House. Hachette. 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 That's a legit Hashem? Uh, Hashem book. That's a legit publishing house. Wow. Interesting. What does Hachette mean? I think it's probably somebody's name. I thought it was Hatchet. This That's... sounds like one of those e-books that you'd print yourself. No, Hachette like... is a uh, legend. I mean, they're not Random House or Penguin, but what's or another Penguin Random House? Hachette book. There's like Simon and Schuster. There's another big one. Yeah, that I know. Penguin. Yeah. yeah. But what's I never heard of Hachette. They're... Like the any next other books? year down. Oh yeah, yeah they have a like lot. famous books that I would know. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll look up the Wikipedia. What if they're all like Dave Mustaine related? <laughs> it's just like a, a it's shell Dave corporation for Dave putting out his own shit. A farewell to Dave Mustaine's arms. <laughs> it's, mis it's Mustaine spelled backwards. 19 it's, Davey 4. It's just a uh, fan fiction of if he was in Def Leppard. <laughs> <laughs> a farewell to arm. Oh, this album was nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Metal Performance at the 33rd Grammy Awards. Awards smelted by Dave Mustaine! <laughs> <laughs> Anything? They've been around since the 1800s. Oh. Why do I not know this? He feels like a... I read a lot of books. Never heard of a Hachette book. I've seen that. Little I've Brown and Company is one of their imprints. Grand Central is one of their imprints. Nope. Okay, so he did uh, share an anecdote about men's the Italian cooking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. We didn't just make this up today. Yeah, no. no. I just wanted to make sure. I wanted to make sure. Uh, <clears throat> so it handles the ensuing success and ultimately the pressure and fame and fortune which caused the band to finally break up. In short, it's a true story of a groundbreaking anti-pop that was moving toward the mainstream. Anti-pop or the mainstream that was moving toward the band. At the time of great cultural change, power, ego, drugs, and other vices that went hand in hand with rock and roll circa the late 80s, early 90s. Little did Mustaine know that the Perth, the birth. Perth? Is that where they broke up? Yeah, that's in London, Rob. <laughs> no, <it's> not. <laughs> New South Perth. Little did Mustaine know that the birth pangs of the record were nothing. Wait, that's, uh, all right, is it the birth pains? Pangs, like hunger pangs. Yeah. Okay. Of the record were nothing compared pain to game. the oncoming Hashtag. pain and torment that would surround it. Alcohol, drugs, sex, money, power, property, power. prestige, and the lies the band was told by the industry and the lies they told each other were just the beginning. <laughs> Is this and, the, are you just reading the whole book? And much, <laughs> and much like Rust in real life. These factors would ultimately eat away at the band's bond. Oh, until, come on. Until only the music come survived. On. Ooh, That's uh, the worst writing possible. Ooh, Building the perfect beast is a story of perseverance, of scraping off the rust off the that builds. So wait, scraping off the rust off? Yes. That doesn't really say that. Of scraping off the rust off that builds over time <laughs> wow. on everything. Ourselves, our relationship, pop culture, art, and music. Just like in, in the title Rust in Peace, all of them live together in a house, just in. like in an inn. In. So I'm very much, <laughs> very much looking forward to it. I can't believe he had, they had to put rust in there like a metaphor. Shut the fuck up. 
They. Dave. 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 Yeah, what do you mean they? They do everything. What do you think, Chris Poland wrote that? Shut up. <laughs> That's on sale September 8th, so I'm looking forward to that one. We got to get a Birthday copy of Birthday gift for you. September, that's quite a ways out that they're already hyping this. Has it been written? Yeah. Just the idea <laughs> I, I, I think they just, yeah, I think they probably just signed the deal. He's like, put down just like Rust in real life. Yeah, you got all that? <laughs> okay. Fuck, got to start writing this book now. The blurb's done. <laughs> got to start returning the phone calls of this ghostwriter. <laughs> Finally. Ugh. Hey. How you doing with that advance, buddy? <laughs> I don't see any pages yet. Guy skipped town. 